So my father was a fireman for Gary, Indiana. He was a very proud man. He fought in Vietnam. He was essentially my hero. Unfortunately, I feel he wasn't given the best attention in regards to his kidney disease. No one would have him see a specialist. And I remember my mom fighting very hard for him to see a nephrologist and no one would take him until it was, you know, too late. So EGFR stands for Estimated Glomerular Filtration Rate. It is a way that physicians see how your kidneys are functioning. There are certain stages of chronic kidney disease, and this EGFR gives you an idea of what stage you are in. The misconception started with the assumption that African Americans had more muscle mass, therefore they made more creatinine. And as a result, a coefficient or a factor was used in the equation. And this equation uh, gave the misconception of um, less severe kidney disease in African-Americans. And so that makes them ineligible for certain medication regimens, transplant lists, things of that sort, when they were actually more severe than how they appeared. A person would meet all criteria of needing a renal transplant, however, their EGFR was too high. And so that would disqualify them from transplants that they rightfully should have had. A new equation has come out. It is the 2021 chronic kidney disease epi equation, and they've redone the equation so that there isn't a discrepancy between races. If I was a patient, I would ask my provider if the laboratory that is being used using the non-race-based equation. From what I'm seeing, most laboratories have changed over. And if they haven't, they're in the process of doing so. I mean, this is really great that this is being done because there's other instances in healthcare where there are race-based um, equations and race-based care. When it comes down to just that, I mean, how many lives that have been impacted? You know, maybe my father would have truly benefited from it. You're taking away the option for someone to get as much care and opportunity to, for survival. Anytime I get a chance to bring awareness to anything, to, you know, be an example and to, you know, honor my dad in, in some way and to help that no one else has to go through that.